Welcome to the Handy Guys. We're doing all of this home automation with Google Home and Alexa from Amazon. So, see our previous shows if you want to see how to set up the Amazon Echo Dot with yeah. the Philips Hue or the Google a Home with Philips Hue. But now we're talking, now it thinks I'm talking to it, Google Home. Uh, now we've set up the smart things. So what I want to know with this or is, router. so with the smart home, I'm sorry, with the smart things hub, and this is talking to the Philips Hue lights. Right. Can we do what can we do with our, our voice controller from Google? Right. So at this point, we can control the lights with the Smart Things software. That was right. fairly easy. Um, and to it's get much going. more powerful than the one app that came with just the Philips bulbs. It can do a lot more. It can do location sensing. It can work through the internet, across the internet. So if you're at work, you can turn your lights off at home and you know all kinds of things like that. And right? I just turned them off and I can also, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a whole lot of things we can do. We can also set the colors with Smart Things app, not a problem individually. You know, not there wasn't a, you couldn't see the scenes we had created previously in Philips. But we so, want to get to what the Google. Right. So the Google Home device. I'm going to add that as a device. I'm going to add the S Samsung Smart Things Hub as a device for Google Home, and we'll see what right. can we do with it. So, so I'm here in my Google Home app, and I go into Home Control from the menu, and then I will add a new device. And one of the options is Smart Things, and that's what we want to integrate with here is the Smart Things Hub. So I'll go ahead and log in with my with my SmartThings account, and then I need to authorize the connection from Google to SmartThings. And so I have a little drop down here that selects your area and that I defined as home, and there are all of my devices. So I need to select each of those that were already added previously to the SmartThings hub, and then I will sync those. And now that adds those devices to my Google Home app. And now I kind of have to do the same thing all over again. I have the devices. Now I define my rooms. And so I'll have to add these devices to a room within the Google Home app. And I, you see there, there's already Studio. That was from when we were testing earlier. But you need to create a room and add them. And we had to go through this a couple times to get it to work right because it seemed like it was a little slow to sync some of these devices. But we finally got it to work. What our goal was was to do more control with the, the voice control. Google so Home. So now we've got Google Home talking to the Smart Things, Smart Things Hub which knows about the Philips Hub. This doesn't know about this directly. Right. Ideally, though, if you get these two working, our goal is, OK, smart things should talk to a whole number of devices for the smart home. It took us a while. OK, Google, turn off the studio lights. OK, turning three lights off. OK, so it did that. How it turned that one off. Yeah, all three. <laughs> now, it took us a while because we thought we had everything set up. We noticed the network cable was loose. And that messed everything up. We don't know if that's what it was, but we had to then reset everything up. We had to reconnect Google to Smart Things using the Home app on my and, Android. But phone. Smart Things we reset up to the Philips Bridge. Right. Everything had to be reset up. So, Paul, if this is the lights in my house, this is not tolerable. You want to come into a room and flip a switch and have lights. So, it's two clicks, it'll come on, but I mean, if this stuff doesn't work as reliably as a light switch, well, it's we, no good. We don't know yet because it just was hard to set up. But we did have times where it only turned two of the three lights off. But, yeah, but yeah. it was also we had just That'll... set it up. So we need more testing. We need to keep this set up all week. OK, Google, set the studio lights to 20%. You got it. Setting three lights brightness to and, 20%. And the other thing we haven't checked is will it control color? OK, Google. Set the studio lights to green. Okay, changing three lights to green. Okay, so that, now this isn't very bright, but it looks like they're all green. Let's, okay, Google, set studio lights to 100%. Sure, setting three okay. lights brightness to 100%. So, getting to the whole thing, why you need color, I don't know, but it is working. <laughs> right. So we need to see, though, how reliable. And you can set rules up so when I leave the house, it automatically turns the studio lights yeah, off. Yeah, we got things. some crazy stuff like so. that, right? All right, let's wrap this up because we're going way long. Uh, till next time, thanks for watching. Thanks.